Hello fellow YouTubers and welcome to my channel dedicated to all things gaming in mixed and virtual reality. Today I'm going to show you how to set up virtual desktop so that you can play all your PC VR games wirelessly on your Oculus Quest 2. So let's get straight into it then and remember, we're born to respawn. Before I start, my channel is currently seeing exponential growth and if you enjoy the madness that is Mac in VR, please consider dropping a like on this video and click that subscribe button. It would really help me out, thanks. Today I'm going to show you my five easy steps to get virtual desktop up and running. Then I'm going to give you five tips and tricks to maximize performance, followed by the five most common problems with their solutions. How does that sound? Good. Before we dive in, every step I'm describing for you today to set up your Oculus Quest 2 with virtual desktop will work equally as well on the original Quest. Are you ready? Let's go. Step number one, your Quest will need to be in developer mode. Don't panic, it's just a straightforward step. Firstly, make sure your headset is on, open the Oculus app on your phone, click settings, find your headset and click that. Then click on more settings, developer mode and turn it on. Easy. Step two, Install the Oculus Rift software on your PC. Guy Godin, the gentleman behind Virtual Desktop, states in his setup guide that you have to have the Oculus Rift software installed on your PC for Virtual Desktop to work. I put the link in the description below, so go and download and install that. It's a hefty 12 gigabytes approximately, so will depend on your internet speed how long that takes. Fire up the software, sign into your Oculus account. You don't have to set up your Quest 2, you just have to have it installed. Step three, you'll need to purchase Virtual Desktop from the Oculus Quest Store. You need to buy the Virtual Desktop software from the Oculus Store on your Quest or Quest 2 headset. I have to emphasize that. This is the only version that allows game streaming, so even if you have the PC or Rift version of Virtual Desktop, you will have to buy this again, and it isn't cross-buy, sorry. Go to the store on your Quest, search for Virtual Desktop, purchase it and install it. It was only $14.99 when I bought it, and it's worth every penny. Step four, download the Virtual Desktop plugin from SideQuest. This is done via an app called SideQuest. This is a way of loading unofficial apps onto the Quest, but don't worry, this is a legitimate storefront. If you haven't already got SideQuest, I've linked the download in the description below. Open SideQuest, turn your Quest 2 on, connect it to your PC via USB, in the top left corner, this light should be green and we are good to go. Search for virtual desktop in the store, click the icon, then hit the install to headset button on the right. This is the update to allow game streaming, so go here and watch your progress. The APK file will download to your PC, then upload to your Quest. You can confirm that by checking there. Step five, download the streamer app from the virtual desktop website. The streamer app acts as a virtual server and fools your PC into thinking your Quest 2 is connected via a link cable. Very clever. Go to the virtual desktop website, which I've linked down below. Click the big orange button to download the app and open it when prompted. You will need to input your Oculus username here. If you don't know what your Oculus username is, then open the mobile app and tap user icon. This page will pop up with your username on it. Make sure the stream audio mute computer speakers and use virtual audio drivers boxes are ticked. This way you can use in-game chat playing with your friends. Now stop before going any further. Make sure Oculus Rift software is running now. If you followed my five easy steps, you should be ready to go. Pop on your headset, open the virtual desktop app and your headset will connect to your PC wirelessly. The stream app may need a quick update, then you're good to go. Press the Oculus button on the left controller to bring up the menu. See the games tab? Click that and as you can see, here are all my Oculus Rift games and underneath that, all my Steam VR games. So I'm going to pick Half-Life Alex because, well, it's the most graphically impressive game in VR so far. In the next clip, I'm going to run the OBS recording of the Steam VR view alongside the actual footage recorded on my Oculus Quest 2 headset with the streamer app overlaid so that you can see the latency in real time. Just for reference, this is the Bioshock Rapture add-on that I talked about in the weekly news in VR here.
As you can see, without doing any tweaking, my latency was between 30 to 40 milliseconds, which is perfectly acceptable. Now we move on to five tips to maximize performance and reduce latency. Tip number one. Developers have stated that you need at least an AC802.11 router with a five gigahertz connection. If your router is an older spec than this, you'll run into problems. Tip two, your PC has to be connected to your router via an ethernet cable, minimum cat 5 e and your Quest has to be connected to your router's five gigahertz Wi-Fi channel. No ifs or buts, if you don't use this method, you will have problems. Tip three, maximize your Wi-Fi settings. If you're able to access your router's advanced Wi-Fi settings, here are a few pointers. Change your channel width to 80 hertz. Find a channel that has no activity on it or as little activity as possible. I have this handy little app that scans all my available channels and tells me which ones are not being used. The app is called Wi-Fi Analyzer and can be downloaded for free from the Apple and Google Play Store. Run a scan, pick a channel, then select that channel in the advanced settings. Oh, and don't forget to save your settings, eh? It's a simple mistake. Tip number four, disconnect all devices that are using your five gigahertz Wi-Fi channel. This includes phones, Alexas, games consoles, anything that is connected at the same time you are game streaming will disrupt your experience. Tip five, in the virtual desktop app, open settings. From there, you can alter the environment quality, frame rate, and desktop bit rate. This is where you can play around with the settings to get the best balance between latency and graphical fidelity, which is a personal choice. I don't mind a bit of latency to get that improved graphical fidelity, but then I'm a graphics tart. I'd just like to say here that everyone's setup is different. Some people get low latency out the box, while others may struggle to bring theirs down. Regardless of these tips, post up down below if you have problems and we will try and help you. Now we're going to talk about the five main problems. Number one, can't turn on developer mode. Go to this page and register a developer account. Call it what you want, then press return. Voila! Now go back to the Oculus app and you should be able to turn on developer mode. Two, this is the biggest problem that people encounter. Your games won't start or you're just left hanging in a black screen. Luckily, the fix is simple. Make sure that SteamVR is not running, even in the background. Shut it all down and only fire up the games from within the virtual desktop app. Virtual Desktop is clever and will open any apps that it needs. If that app is running in the background, that's your problem. Number three, can't connect to your headset. Make sure the streamer app is running and your correct Oculus username is input. Number four, your game is running but appears as a flat screen floating in space. Open Virtual Desktop menu on your Quest. In the left-hand menu, there's a button that says VR View. Click that. Number five, finally, Another much asked question, do I need a VR ready PC to use virtual desktop? The simple answer is yes. The PC is basically running the game, then streaming the data over to your Quest headset, which is then decoding it and displaying the image. Oculus have a minimum spec on their website, or you can download the Steam VR performance test. I've linked them both in the description below. Have you had any problems that I haven't mentioned? Please ask in the comments and we will try and help. I hope this guide has got you up and running on virtual desktop and that you can now enjoy all your PC VR wirelessly on your Quest 2 or your Quest. Do you have any tips, tricks which have improved your experience? I'd love to hear them. Comment down below. Well, that's it for today. If you enjoyed the video, please feel free to share, like, subscribe and hit that bell icon to be notified whenever I upload any new content. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the other side.